book friends, today's episode of Biblio Happy Hour is brought to you by Bibliofinder, a new online directory for independent bookstores. Bibliofinder allows users to find bookstores worldwide based on your current or planned location. book friends welcome to biblio happy hour a podcast about bookstores and everything bookish i'm your host victoria wood in today's show we'll be talking to patrick darby and he is from novel books located in clarksburg maryland if you love the show and what we're doing over on biblio finder and you want to help us support local independent bookstores visit our patreon page at patreon.com forward slash bibliofinder Patreon allows listeners like you to support the show as well as our online directory for independent bookstores. You'll also get perks for joining, such as access to our full podcast episodes, behind-the-scenes content, an opportunity to send in questions, get discount codes, shoutouts, plus more. That's patreon.com forward slash bibliofinder. We'll also leave a link in the show details. Before we get started with today's episode, wherever you're listening, Please don't forget to share, subscribe to our podcast, and leave us a rating and review. When you do this, you're helping us to reach a much larger audience, and it is one way you can help us to put independent bookstores at the forefront and make Bibliofinder plus the show a success. Alrighty guys, let's talk with our guest. Patrick, thank you so much for coming on the show and welcome to Biblio Happy Hour. Thank you for inviting me. It sounds like it's going to be a fun time. Yep, it's going to be fun and we're so happy to have you here. So before we get started, really quick, are you a coffee or a tea person? A tea person. Tea, okay. What's your favorite tea? Uh, Earl Grey. Okay, okay. Sounds good. All right. So tell us about your bookstore. Tell us about Novel Books, uh, where you're located. And if you don't mind, share some history and things to do in your town. Okay. Well, as you said, we're in Clarksburg, Maryland. It's the northern part of Montgomery County outside of B.C. You know, it's a, we're in the historic district, and uh, it's, it's, it's pretty short, you know, like two blocks long. And we're in a nice house. With, it was built in 1911. Uh, so I went with a picket fence out front, so it's very homey kind of thing, very warm and, and uh, attractive. And um, you know, we sell new and used books, and we have, we used to do antiquarian books and kind of matching with the, the community, but that didn't do too well, so we just moved into more contemporary books. And this is the only thing to say. Clarksburg is probably one of the oldest communities in, in the Maryland area, uh, uh, established in 1752 by John Clark. And, and in fact, we were um, originally located in the original John Clark Trading Post that uh, still exists across the street moved in this location about four or five years ago which is uh like a nice little house uh when did you open your your doors uh for novel books uh it was 2011 actually right on memorial day weekend in 2011 what prompted you to open a bookstore was this something you've always wanted to do or did you just happen upon uh this business how did you get involved in this industry uh this takes a long time to answer um <laughs> it's been in my blood i think since the day i was born because okay. you know i always tell people that uh, in elementary school i was chosen to handle the scholastic book order so that i take the orders from the kids and you know hand those to the teachers and i have a checklist of who gets what book and so we're not process this the the boxes when they came in and, and distribute all the books and everything and uh, you know i think they gave me i, I can't remember they gave me a bonus of a free book or two i'm not sure now but uh, so it started way back then and in college i worked at the bookstore and then and when i got out of college i started working for i worked i hate to say that i worked for crown books for a while but uh, then moved on to other bookstores and finally I decided that you know i got I basically what happened was I got tired of and I was working at a university bookstore. And I was tired of the bureau- bureaucracy and you know, decision-making process. And I said, it's time that I do myself. So, hey guys, listen to the full podcast episode over on our Patreon page. So, Patreon allows listeners like you to support the show as well as our online directory for independent bookstores. You'll also get additional perks for joining, such as discount codes for some awesome products and services. You'll be able to share your input and submit questions for the show. Get behind-the-scenes content weekly business updates shout outs plus lots more that's patreon.com forward slash bibliofinder i'm really looking forward to talking with you there (music) 